In an earlier video, I demonstrated how Bullet Train streamlines the process of making a collection of models sortable via drag and drop in your user interface. Now, even in this demo, as streamlined as it was, there were still five or six distinct steps that a developer had to go through in order to make this work. And this sort of brainless copy and paste is the sort of thing that Bullet Train's super scaffolding engine was designed to eliminate as much as possible. So I'd like to show you how we can accomplish the same thing, drag and drop collections of models right out of the box using a single option flag on the command line of Bullet Train's super scaffolding engine. So we'll go through the same process as the standard Bullet Train super scaffolding demo. We'll create a site that belongs to a team. It has a name and a sort order as an integer. And then we'll migrate that to the database. And once it's done migrating to the database, we will perform the same super scaffolding command as the original demo, but with one small change. So a site is super scaffolded under team. It has a name attribute and it's sortable. We'll go ahead and skip adding it to the sidebar for the sake of time. And now it's restarting the server so that it picks up the localization YAML file. But we'll go back to the dashboard and reload. And once the server comes back to life, we should see that instead of just things, we now have a sites model as well. And we'll go ahead and add site one. Site two and site three and that will allow me to show you what we can do next right out of the box. So now it doesn't even take a few minutes to go through these steps, but if you know that you're creating a collection of objects that is gonna be sortable by users within the context of its parent object, go ahead and add the sortable flag when you're using super scaffolding and you get it for free. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for your time.